What's up beautiful people? Today we're going to be checking out what could Colorado's Trump disqualification from 2024 primary ballot mean for the Republicans. Let's get to it. Meaning like a man without worry, Donald Trump wouldn't directly address the court ruling that could end his presidential ambitions. It's no wonder crooked Joe Biden and the far left lunatics are desperate to stop us by any means necessary. Late Tuesday, Colorado's Supreme Court disqualified Trump from holding office again. The court removed him from the state's Republican primary ballot. We will never give up. We will never concede. All because of his role in the storming of the U.S. Capitol after he lost the 2020 election. It is a lawsuit brought by Republicans and independents to enforce state law and the Constitution uh, in Colorado. Colorado lawyer Eric Olson brought the case on behalf of a group of voters. Engaging in insurrection after having taken an oath is disqualifying under our Constitution. Trump has vowed to appeal all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court, where the conservative majority could overturn the decision. The current president and Trump's likely opponent in November is treading carefully. We'll let the court make that decision. But he certainly supported an insurrection. There's no question about it. If the U.S. Supreme Ooh, Court upholds... Wait, that was a funny response. I'll let the court make the, make the decision, but he definitely did it. Hear it again. But he certainly supported an insurrection. Now let's take it all the way back. Overturn the decision. The current president and Trump's likely opponent in November is treading carefully. We'll let the court make that decision. But he certainly supported an insurrection. There's no question about it. If the U.S. Supreme Court upholds the decision, it could be disastrous for Trump. Several other states have hinted they too could follow suit and remove him from their ballots. The high court already faced... We're hearing 12 states want to do the same thing. New Hampshire and California a laundry list of cases relating to Trump's future and may also be asked to decide whether the former president is immune from prosecution, a case Trump is trying to delay. Our Constitution commands no armies. It has no police force. It relies on citizens and judges to ensure that we live in a nation of law and not under one man. That one man is now testing the limits of the law raising the difficult question of whether the courts or voters should decide who's eligible to lead. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington. <laughs> yeah, this is an interesting one. And this is the first time anything like this has been done or has been used to disqualify um, a presidential candidate. I mean, that's what we heard in the past video I brought to the channel, that this is the first time. It's definitely interesting. The Republicans think, um, some Republicans, not all of them. As a matter of fact, I heard this was partly um, pushed by the, some of the Republicans. But other Republicans think that this is weaponized, weaponization of the justice system and they believe it's unfair. Hmm, don't know. I'm not a lawyer myself, but I'm just saying if Trump did something, make it very clear and, you know, send him to jail or accuse him for it already. Because now it's beginning to feel like, you know, to, they're trying to use tiny, tiny things to, like, you know, make him not contest. I don't know for a fact, but if he did something wrong, make a strong point and get him convicted for it. Here's the end of this one. Share your thoughts, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.